welcome back to my channel it's nurse kathiana and in this video we will be talking all about how to pass nclex period like that's it so if you're a new subscriber go ahead and click that red subscribe button bright red subscribe button and if you are a returning subscriber welcome 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 May. welcome back to my channel first and foremost before we start this video i just wanted to say thank you everyone who has subscribed who has watched my videos you guys are amazing i've really been trying to be consistent every monday wednesday fridays i post videos so that's where you can catch me at 12 p.m or 2 p.m um it just depends you know because nightlife are in life it's crazy out there so yes if you haven't subscribed go ahead and click subscribe and let's get into this video okay so i get the question a lot like how do you prepare yourself for nclex when will i be ready for nclex like what are some tips and tricks you have for nclex to be honest guys you'll never be ready for nclex if you're waiting for yourself to be ready for nclex you'll never be ready because there's no test bank there's no answers there's no amount of questions in the world there's no amount of books in the world that can prepare you for nclex whether it's rn lpn lvn there's there's nothing guys there's really nothing but i can tell you all the things that i've learned asking everyone i know how they prepared their self for nclex and that is what i'm going to talk about today so yes nclex 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 this test is one of the hardest tests that i've ever taken in my life and i took it twice lpn and rn so trust me guys it's crazy. I, I don't know what convinced me after LPN to go back and take this damn test, but I did it and I passed. So I feel as though the best way to prepare yourself for NCLEX is honestly, you do have to know content. You need to know your content. And when I say know your content, you need to know your actual numbers. You need to know your ranges. You need to know your actual material. Um, so I feel that as though it's a, like a median. You have questions here and you have content here. You need to find the balance because there's, you can do 10,000 questions, you can do a million questions, but if you don't know your content, you will not pass NCLEX and it's vice versa. You can do, you can read as many books as you want. You can listen to as many lectures as you want, but if you do not practice questions and know how NCLEX wants you to answer these questions, then you will not pass. It is what it is, guys. I'm being honest. So don't waste your money. <laughs> I believe 100%. I believe in UWorld. If you haven't got UWorld, go get UWorld if you're studying for NCLEX because I believe in it 100%. I believe the way that they structure their questions. I believe in the content. And I believe in the way that they... I just want to insert this as well. Um, I do believe in RN, registered RN on YouTube. Go ahead and follow her if you haven't. She's amazing for NCLEX review for content tips. Um, I believe in Marlene Hurst. She's amazing, amazing, amazing. I believe in her book and her lectures, as well as I believe in Fewer. Fewer was amazing too. So these are the three people. I will link them all down below. Let's get back to the video. Set it up as is as though you are taking NCLEX because when I took it the first time guys I didn't pay attention to how the questions looked or like how the page was set up and then when I went in for RN and after doing UWorld I'm like this really is like how it's set up so you'll have that kind of mindset already um what I tell people is take a month off study after learning all your content obviously I would say go get you world and go content by content doing maybe all the questions or even if you do i'll say i'll say do all the questions the first time and then after you learn your content you know your content start again and i would say do 75 questions on you world just doing any questions random questions a day 75 questions a day see where you're kind of not doing so good at in those content areas spend a little extra time and do maybe 75 questions solely based on that specific topic and then as you're going day by day so let me break it down again because in case i'm a little bit confusing right now so basically you have you world right you're gonna go in and you're gonna do the whole test bank the whole test bank of you world do it one time read the content guys read the content you world is providing you with these answers read it like read it know it understand it because that will be one of your biggest tips for success 
I, I'm just saying, everyone that I've asked has agreed with me. You need to know your content and especially you world's content, okay? After you do the whole test bank once, then you're gonna do 75 questions a day. You can do more if you want. Um, as it got closer, like say for the whole month, as the two weeks got closer, I would do more questions. So I would do 75 times two um, every day. So whatever you're struggling in, you'll do your 75 questions of random questions and whatever you're struggling in, you'll do that specific content, 75 questions, and you're reading and trying to understand the knowledge that it's giving you. These are just tips I've learned. My tips are, quick overline, take a month off, study hard every day, do 75 questions random. Whatever you're struggling in, do extra questions in those. As it gets closer, do 20, uh, 75 times 2. And then the day before, don't do any questions. And that's it. Like, there's no tricks. There's no tip. Like, there's no amount of content that can create you. And you just got to pray, honestly, that that's on NCLEX. Because honestly, NCLEX, you can get anything. You can get anything. You spent a year or two years in school and you can get anything from the beginning to the end. So just make sure you know your stuff, especially your fundamentals especially especially your fundamentals i would start start with fundamentals and i would end with the fundamentals so yeah if you like this video guys go ahead and click that thumbs up button and leave a comment down below how you guys did on nclex all right see you later